Hey everybody, it is day 28, oh my gosh, of Acrylic April. I am so excited. We're going to be doing the otter today. He's so cute. I think a lot of you guys were very excited about doing him. If you check the description below, you're going to see a link to our website. And on that link, it's going to tell you about the background here and how we gridded it in. There's a whole video about that. There's also a nice little value study video, if those have been helpful to you. So that's there, plus the traceables and the references. And if you don't have an exact pink color that I have, it gives you exchanges so that you can probably find one that would work really well for this project, even if you don't have exactly what I have. On the mic is my husband, John. Hey, guys. <laughs> he is going to be keeping me company while we otter paint this otter. Mm. I know it's been it's been kind of the jokes all week with it, but I'm I'm deep into the dad jokes, so that's how we're gonna go. You He's, otter find a new pun. Uh, otter. So <laughs> hi everybody. <laughs> so he's gonna track me with the cameras. That way, between peals of laughter, you're able to paint this for yourself at home and hang it on your wall. I know many of you are very excited about it. You ready to jump down in, babe? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, he's so cute. It's okay. That's his little nose, his little faces, and everything here. I really hope I paint him quite well. Um, we talked a lot about why I chose this background color in its grid video, and that's all in. But of course, you know, we have the downloadable traceable, so you don't have to paint. Um, to draw, to do that, you can just use the traceable, and that's fine. I'm going to start with maybe the water, and then I will put in some other colors. And I'm going to be a little bit crazy and expressive and try to have some fun here is my plan. So I'm going to start out with a little bit of my, it's labeled here, but it's primary blue, burnt sienna, Naples yellow, cad yellow, medium, vermilion, deep magenta, ultramarine, thalo blue, Mars black, titanium white. I'm going to start out with my thalo green and my ultramarine and just really load up my number eight Cambridge. And I'm going to come here and wiggle my brush back and forth. I kind of sketched in some of the wonderful reflections that are here. But I want to keep that, um, you know, wiggle, that, that whole wiggle and effect going all through the water, even where it's quite dark. And I didn't want to do black water because I felt like the, 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 the cool of this deep green water would be much more attractive in a painting as one might have. So I'm just getting those in, maybe a little bit more. And you know, you can add some of this Naples right there. It gives you a bit of a highlight. That could be interesting. See how you can suddenly see that? Oh yeah. You know, that's fun to do. I'm wiggling back and forth. And this is just a great way to start talking a little bit about uh, the types of movements that one sees in water, especially if somebody adorable and fluffy is floating in it. Hmm. You know, you've got to deal with that. So just keeping these colors rich and this paint quite thick and heavy. Because the value, even though I've changed the colors, I really want to keep the value the same. That's how light or dark it is. So making sure I maintain that's a big deal. You can see I'm just brushing that back and forth, enjoying that little space in the water. John and I definitely had some otter jokes going on. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get my phthalo blue, not phthalo blue, primary blue into this with a little bit of my green. And I'm going to pick up a smidge, the smidge of white. I'm going to begin to put above him these fabulous see how i'm just wiggling the brush back and forth mm -hmm. just on the edge here wiggling it back and forth it's really fun to do that and get a little more of my white into that and you can even add some yellow which will take it into this great green and look at how that impacts the water you can get a lot of these here and i think bring some of this down here Right along this little water's edge is going to be really nice as well. Now that's going. Now every once in a while I'm going to rinse out my brush, but I'm going to want to make sure that I get as much of the water out of the brush as possible when I'm painting. Because when you use a brush that's bristles or bristles and synthetic filaments, it can over waterlog for acrylic paint. And uh, it doesn't do it with oils. 
but it can for acrylic paint. And so it's just good to make sure that you've got that going. Mm. Now I've got some fabulous little fur all over him. So I'm going to start with some basic fur colors, which is my burnt sienna and my black. Right. And we have this great, you know, beginning of a, get this right here. I kept my grid nearby so that I could really, really see. I'll get more black as I'm coming. You can check your grid. So I could check my gridding. Mm. You got to check your grid. Check your grids, yo. So I'm just making sure that this value is in keeping with what I have over all of him. So back into my black and I'm going to pull that back. You can see me grabbing darker elements into there and then coming back. You know, with that, I'm going to come along his little belly with a lot more black. One of the things that uh, you can also do is you can get some of your brown into your blue and pick just a smidge of white into it. So when you're here, you can talk about his reflection. I'm going to flip over and pick up some different little colors in the water as he would have it, right? Because you're trying to say, oh, he's reflected. A reflection of him is just loosely and wonderfully in the water. And that'll be fun later. I'm rinsing that quite thoroughly. So I'm just getting all those deep values coming off at first. You know, and we'll build up as we go. A little black, a lot of brown. And then we can come back with bright pops of fur where we're going to need it. Get back into this. As you go, and a little bit of that through here. I love these little paws. Mm. They make me very happy. I like the little paws too. I'm going to definitely give him some dark fur bits here and one right there. Mm. My nose is so stuffy for this cold. He's definitely possum. He's possum. He is possum. I agree with that. He's so possum. I'm just adding some of these little dark elements on his nose. I'm going to get my black and I love his little otter nose. So I'm going to start here with that. And I'll definitely think about a little bit about his little eye here. I'll have to trim that back. When I come into him. So starting to get these paints on him. Now as I'm coming through, I'm going to get right into my yellow. And then into my brown. I haven't rinsed out my brush, if you'll notice. And so that's where we're going to get into his little fur color. And we'll start talking about that deep value. And it's so different when you see it on here mm -hmm. next to him because you're like, wow, I didn't even think it was going to look like that. Get a little red into it for some places. You can see, like, you can add that little bit of red. There we go. Just starting to talk about the edge of the paw. And start to see these little bits back into this with the yellow. And again, you wouldn't think it, but that's what it is. <laughs> just coming around. And we're right now what we're doing is we're just seeing those bits that we need to think about. Coming right here. Now, his eye, in front of his eye, it gets quite darker. So I'm going to get back into the black where I've got to darken that. Maybe come in with a little bit of this right here. Because we're trying to get these blocks in. Now, once that very dark brown, and you have a very dark brown, I'm going to wipe my brush just a little bit just to pull some pigment. And I'm going to get a lot more of this yellow in it. And believe it or not, I'm going to add some of my Naples yellow. Isn't that cool? Mm. That is cool. And I'm going to begin to talk about these lighter areas that are clearly here. I like how the brush strokes make the fur. Yeah. The brush strokes really help us find his little furness. Right there under his eye with that. 
letter value trim the I in a bit and already we're starting to see a little bit of otter yeah the otter bee <laughs> adding more of the Naples yellow as I'm coming through and you can see that it's And add those little highlights. Maybe start to talk a little bit about that paw. That paw. Right here has a little bit of that. And a little bit right here. And this paw has a little bit of a furry outline too. We're just starting to discuss it a little bit with our color. I'm going to Talk a little about the little rise. See how it kind of rises and my brush stroke is going to help me Yeah. get that. Now, right here, I can go ahead and add some black into this. And you're going to notice that I'm going to get a gray. And I'll bring this back here. And that's very loosely him being blocked in. So what are you trying to pay attention to? You're going to try to pay attention to where you have highlights. You're going to try to pay attention to where your deep tones are. We put most of our dark, dark tones in. So now we can start having some fun um, painting him a little more aggressively. Make sure that we've, you know, painted in all the places that need to be really painted in. Right? We don't want to be leaving big gaps. So I'm just making sure here what I'm doing that I've got everything where I want it. Always, always check that things are where you want it. Now, one of the fun things that we can do, believe it or not, is there's a lot of gray and blue and some really terrific colors. Um, I'm going to get both my ultramarine and my phthalo blue together. I'll just pop a little white into it. Ooh. Let's talk about some of this bit that, that he's got going on his little fur here. That blue is pretty sharp. It is a lot, right? But I like it, so I'm going into it. What you're really trying to talk about is some of this here and there. Now, along the water, we definitely have a punch of that blue. You could probably even get it a little more blue. See what I'm doing? Well, let's come along here with a little bit of a light line. We're just talking about where the fur and the otter meet. Do you know where the fur and the otter meet? <laughs> <laughs> His little, little leg here has, some, I'm going to put some blue here. Go a little more light. These are just little bits of pops of color that I know at first might seem like a lot, but I think that they're going to give us a really gorgeous little otter. I think so too. I'm going to go even lighter right here. Even lighter. I'm going to talk about this some right here. I think that that is, I feel like I've, I see a little bit of the blue coming down here. I'm going to get into my darker blue. Let me grab some of you right there. Some of my ultramarine. Speak a little bit about that fur coming here, and I think that there's another little bit there. So that's what I'm trying to do is just see those little bits of fur. It looks a little crazy right now. You might be like, blue, panic. I like Oh, no. Blue. But I do actually think it's going to um, help us with the overall piece. So now I'm going to take a little bit of my 
black and blue together and that's going to actually be the basis of a bunch of gray and I'm going to come in here and make sure that I'm showing some of that deeper value that we would have right that's the black and the blue this is quite deep here no. so pull those up a little bit of that here I'm coming back with that deeper value and you can see right here there's just a lot more of that kind of deep black so that's the black and a little of the primary blue And where you've got to, you know, come back in and just make sure that the little bits of blue that we're seeing feel like hair. Now, as I'm coming out, I'm going to definitely, definitely add more white to this. See how we're doing? Just like kind of a gray. Just kind of keep lightening up the fur. Yeah. Where, where it would be lighter. And in the way it is, like, so there's little pops of it, right? And pay attention to, because it's wet and it clumps, directionality here is a bigger deal. I really like how the blues come in. I, I do too. I just think it's, I know I'm getting a little thinky. What I'm doing is I'm just trying to pay real close attention to the way that the fur is in the these way directions that the fur is yeah these little directions of fur are a big deal i think i'm keeping that blue in there but i'm also adding a little of this and he's starting to come in isn't he really is there he is we're just starting to find him and again if you need more black you just come in and you can come back with brown, you can come back with different little fur colors. The whole thing will be about just finding that interplay of value. If I'm here, I can be like, oh, look, this, this fur is very short, isn't it? Where is there a lot of detail and shortness here? And we can come there and you know, be like, oh, I see that. And even sometimes grab a little bit of the white into that. So see how that's like a brown gray? All of that will play in. Look at that color. There's his fur coming into bay, being. I really got to pull some light into this. I'm just showing these little parts of him real loose real happy just getting the color and his feeling on his day now i'm going to take my two yellows i'm going to take my naples yellow and my cad yellow i'm going to mix them together as you do as, as we all do hopefully do. I watch you. And I got this yellow gray. You guys are seeing? I love watching you. And I'm going to add some white into it. If my brush is too wet like it is, I've got to really pull that moisture out. It's a good thing this is my favorite pastime. Watching me paint? Yep. <laughs> yeah, it really is because it happens a lot, like every week. I do it a little bit. I'm going to just want to tip the fur. on that definitely tip some of it back there and what you're going to be doing is just trying to find little bits that you can speak to a little more yellow into that 
with a lot more white. Come right under that eye. And a little of this highlight right here, just layering it up. Oh, there's definitely some right here. Layers. Layering some fur out that way. And just coming over the top of his head, which is quite light as well. Try brushing around his little nose. Now he has a bit of, in my opinion, some orange in there. So I'm going to grab a little orange. Wiping on any extra moisture, but not the pigment. See how that's slightly orange? I see little bits of orange and I don't want to leave those out. Because I think that they're going to play in to the overall piece, in my opinion. Let's hit a little bit of that paw with some orange because it's just so cute. A bit there. I like the play, the orange and the blue. Yeah, I, you know, I saw that subtlety on this piece and I just thought when this all comes together, it is going to be, I'm going to get my deeper, darker orange here. It's going to be like a joy. Like there's some color that we can put into this. It'll be unexpected and super playful and that I, that I felt like people would really feel. A little connection to like maybe like right there a little creative so you can see we're just having kind of a blast and i've got my little orange here and i can add a little of my brown to it i'm looking for just kind of a darker than this background color but I mean, lighter than the background color, but still darker than the light fur. I'm just brushing that color. You know, and then I grab a little bit of that. Come right here. I feel like he's got a little, little touch of some light there. And there's definitely that. I'm gonna get a lot lighter. Let's see, I'm just adding white. Just a little lightening it up a little bit yeah. at a time. Just lightening it up so that these the fur just layers out, right? Because you can always, you know, come here and capture a bit of something here and there. Like this is shockingly very much exactly the color of his fur. So there are some colors that you're going to want to look for that are unexpected. And I think that's what's been really fun this month is finding those little bits. There I am putting a little bit of the, this highlight here. And again, we're running it down his belly and we're starting to see a shape and elements of him that are very otter. It's a really a lot coming of fun. Right along. Huh? He's coming right along. Yeah, he's just a lot of fun. He's just gorge, right? Mm -hmm. Bringing that blue there because it's just playful. And I feel like this would be a little bit. I'm going to definitely darken that up. I feel like that had more darkness in it. Again, you're just playing with that fur and it's really fun to play with the fur as you can see I think I need a little bit of play here at the little paw 
So I've got my yellow. I'm going to get it maybe even a little more yellow. Add a little white to it. Not every part of it, I just want to touch some. A little more white into it. Oh, he's just getting so colorful. He's a lot of fun. Isn't he? Just so much fun. I like him a lot. He's a colorful little otter. Really is. I'm going to take maybe some of these colors that were a little more fun and touch them a couple places here and there. And the reason is because water tends to reflect everything that we see. Now I'm going to get my number four round and I'm going to do a couple little detail bits. I'm going to take my phthalo blue and not my phthalo blue, my primary blue and my phthalo turquoise. I'm going to get a ton of white into it. And I'm going to come along the little water edge here and make a broken little line. And the reason that it's broken is because his fur would keep it a bit uneven. And so we're looking to say, you know, how that would be. We've got that there. Where did I put that color? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> like, where's that color? <laughs> Where did it go? It put escaped. Some right here above his little eye. Because he's got to have a little touch. Got to always check those eyes. I love my eyes. You know I do. And a little bit on the inside there. I think that's a little perfect. Now, just barely. See how it goes for me? Let me know if you think it was a good plan. I think it's great. Take a little bit of my black and a lot of my blue. My uh, primary blue. And I'm going to just very subtly at the top of his nose mm. touch a rough texture see that's like a rough texture just to show that yeah and then i'm going to dip my brush in water can you guess what's next you're gonna sign it i think so i think this was a nice uh playful painting today i'm already sort of missing acrylic april john i know like, what am I going to do with the rest of my life? <laughs> I, well, there's, you know, other months that there, need to be filled with content. So we're going to have to come up with some more. I think so. I think this was so much fun. She says now. Oh, okay. So this one is like, all right, this one is my favorite so far of the month. I really like this. This is that sort of like colorful, joyful, expressive thing I was going for in myself. Hopefully you're here with me. Um, oh, I love it. Okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. That, that's, that's, that's just, yes. For me. For me. I don't know where you're at. I don't want to impose my feelings on you, but my joy is up here. I'm, I'm like at elated. I love it. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And I want to see you at the easel really soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.